First, identify and mark the midline. Center the midline indicator in the disk space. Use AP fluoroscopy to confirm the midline of the operative level. Once the midline is confirmed, mark the midline on the superior and inferior vertebral bodies so the mark remains visible throughout the procedure. Create an annulotomy centered on the midline and wide enough to accommodate the ProDisc L implant. Use the bone elevator to separate the disc from the end plates. Perform a thorough discectomy using standard anterior discectomy instrumentation, such as rangures, kerosens, and curettes. The goal of a total disc replacement discectomy is to free posterior lateral corners of disc material and to completely expose the posterior longitudinal ligament. Under fluoroscopic control, insert the vertebral body spreaders to the posterior margin of the vertebral bodies. Gradually remobilize the motion segment. Place the spreader on one side to facilitate the discectomy on the contralateral side. Repeat for the other side. Remove the cartilaginous end plates to bleeding bone, taking care to not compromise the integrity of the bony end plates. The posterior annula should be completely exposed and resected as necessary to expose the posterior longitudinal ligament and to remobilize the segment. Release the posterior longitudinal ligament by scraping a curved curette along the posterior border of the vertebral bodies. If posterior remobilization cannot be achieved after the posterior longitudinal ligament has been released, the posterior longitudinal ligament may be transected or completely resected. Use a vertebral body spreader on each side of the disc space. Distract to ensure that the remobilization is balanced. Once a thorough and meticulous discectomy and remobilization has been completed, the disc is ready for ProDisc L implantation. Use the screwdriver to assemble the stop into the trial. Ensure the stop is fully seated in the trial. Connect the trial handle to the shaft of the trial by pulling back on the flange. The handle locks onto the shaft of the trial implant. Insert the trial into the disc space, centered on the midline mark and aligned with the sagittal plane of the vertebral body. Advance the trial to the posterior margin of the vertebral bodies with the slotted mallet. Confirm position under lateral fluoroscopic control. If the trial needs to be placed more posteriorly, the stop can be backed out with the screwdriver and the trial can be positioned more posteriorly. Each full counterclockwise rotation of the stop allows the trial to be advanced one millimeter posterior. Remove the handle from the trial. Slide the chisel corresponding to the trial height onto the shaft of the trial. Under lateral fluoroscopic control, advance the chisel into the vertebral bodies with the slotted mallet until the chisel is fully seated on the trial, ensuring that the trial stop is resting on both vertebral bodies. Leave the chisel and trial in place until the ProDisc L implant is ready for insertion. Press the release button on the back of the inserter and rotate the inferior arms outward. Assemble the inferior end plate onto the pins of the inferior arms. Press the release button and rotate the arms inward to lock the inferior end plate onto the pins. Load the superior end plate onto the pins on the superior arms of the inserter. Nest and hold the two end plates together by firmly gripping the inserter arms.
Remove the chisel with the slotted mallet. Attach the trial handle and remove the trial. Ensure the disc space is clear of any disc or bony debris. Align the keels of the ProDisc L implant with the chisel cuts. Under fluoroscopic control, use the slotted mallet to insert the ProDisc L end plates to the posterior margin of the vertebral bodies. Insert the polyethylene inlay into the grooves in the inferior arms of the inserter with the dome up and dome up. Let the polyethylene inlay fall to the first ball detent. Assemble the distractor to the inserter. Under fluoroscopic control, use the thumb screw to fully advance the distractor. Verify that the posterior edge of the end plates have separated from each other to ensure adequate clearance of the polyethylene inlay. Insert the inlay pusher into the same grooves in the inferior arms. Manually push and lock the polyethylene inlay into the inferior end plate. Remove the inlay pusher. Visually confirm the polyethylene inlay is locked into the inferior end plate. Use a nerve hook to verify that no step and no gap is present. Return the distractor to its original position and then remove the distractor from the inserter. Press the release button of the inserter and rotate the inferior arms outward to unlock the inserter. Gently remove the inserter from the ProDisc L implant. Verify final implant position with lateral and AP imaging.